Hi students! So welcome back to my class and you're here at Missy TV. For today's video, we're going to discuss about the slope of a line. Okay, we have here, for example, find the slope of the line containing two points. So for number one, we have negative two, one, and four, six. So to get the, the slope of the line, so we have the formula, so which is the m equals y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. Okay? So, what we're going to do is just to substitute the value of y sub 2, y sub 1, x sub 2, and x sub 1. But first, let's um, identify which is the y sub 2, y sub 1, x sub 2, and x sub 1. So, here in this point, so this would be our x sub 1, okay? So, this is our y sub 1. And then here, this is our x sub 2. And then this is our x, uh, y sub 2. So, next, let's substitute the, um, the given to the formula. So, we have, so what is our y sub 2? Our y sub 2 is 6. So, 6 minus y sub 1 is 1 over x sub 2 is 4 minus our x sub 1 is negative 2. Okay, next, 6 minus 1 is 5 over 4 minus negative 2, so that will become 6. Okay, so our slope or m is 5 over 6. But, how about if we have the um, the graph? So, for example, we have the graph. Okay? If you don't know the formula, um, we have this one. So, we have also this technique. Okay? For example, you forget the formula. So, we have this technique. What you're going to do is just first to plot the points, the two points. So, we have here negative 2, 1. Okay? So, let's plot the point first. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 5, 6. Okay? So, let's plot the points. Assuming that you don't know the formula. Okay? So, we're going to plot, plot these two points. So, negative 2, 1. So, we have negative 2, 1 here. Okay? Next is we have the 4, 6. So, 4 and then 6 here. Alright, so this would be our line. Okay. So if you want to know the slope of the line without the formula, what you're going to do is just to count units upward or downward and then um, left or right. Okay, so we have the formula which is the slope equals rise over run. So, meaning, if you have the rise, so, um, you're counting from upward to downward. And then, if you have the run, so, you're counting from left to right. Okay? So, let's, um, try. So, what is the, our rise? So, from here, from this point, so, let's count units up to this one. Okay? So, let's count. One, two, three, four, five. Okay? So, five units upward from this point to 6. Okay? So, we have 5. Next, how many steps from here to here? Okay? How many units? So, from here. So, that's 2 or negative 2. Okay? So, how many units from here to here? So, let's count. So, this is 2. Okay? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, we have 6. Okay? So, the answer is the same. So, 5 over 6. So, our slope with the graph, we have 5 over 6. But, in the help of our formula, so we have also 5 over 6. For number 2, we have 3, negative 5, and 4, negative 1. So, let's um, use first the formula. So, this is our 
x sub 1. So, this is our y sub 1. This is our x sub 2. And this is y sub 2. So, with the formula m equals y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. So, again, what is our y sub 2? So, our y sub 2 is negative 1. Okay? Minus our y sub 1 is negative 5. So, negative 5 over x sub 2 is 4 minus x sub 1 is 3. So, we have... Okay? So, since we have um, two negative sign here, it will become negative 1 plus 5. Okay? Kasi, because negative times negative is positive. Okay? Over 4 minus 3. So, what is negative 1 plus 5? So, that is positive 4 over 4 minus 3 is what? 1. Okay? So, we can simplify 4 over 1. So, that is... 4. Because 4 divided by 1 is 4. So, this is our final answer. But, if you forget the formula, let's try the rise over run or let's try to have the graph. So, let's graph. So, let's plot the points. 3, negative 5. So, we have 3, negative 5. It's here. 3, negative 5. Next is 4, negative 1. So, 4, this is the negative 1. Okay, so this is our line. Okay, so to get the slope, if you forget the formula, so we have again the m equals rise over run. Okay, so let's compute for the rise. So, let's count for the rise and run. So, for our rise, let's count the units um, upward. So, we will start here. Okay, so, let's count. So, let's have 1, 2, 3, 4. So, we have 4 here. Over. So, run from this point. So, 3 from here. Okay. From this point. Okay. Let's count to here. Okay. Let's count. So, that is 1. 1 unit to the right. So, let's have here 1. So, again, let's simplify 4 over 1. So, that is 4. So, our final answer or the slope of these two points is 4. For number 4, we have negative 4, negative 3, and negative 2, negative 5. So, again, we have the formula M equals Y sub 2 minus Y sub 1 over X sub 2 minus X sub 1. So, this would be our x sub 1. This would be our y sub 1. And then, this is our x sub 2, y sub 2. So, our y sub 2 is negative 5. Minus our y sub 1 is negative 3. Over our x sub 2 is negative 2. And then, our y, uh, x sub 1 is negative 4. Okay? So, let's simplify first. Negative 5. This would be negative times negative is positive 3 over negative 2. Negative times negative is positive, so that is positive 4. So, negative 5 plus 3 is negative 2 over negative 2 plus 4 is positive 2. So, we can simplify negative 2 over 2, so that is negative 1. So, our slope in this point is negative 1. So, that's how we end our lesson for today. If you have more questions, so please comment down below. And don't forget to subscribe on my channel. So, that's it. Bye-bye!